It's kind of hard for Meghan to say that the UK is a racist country when the leader of the UK is darker skinned than her and the mayor of London is darker skinned than her. And I am a person who's probably darker skinned than her. And I've never experienced any kind of bigotry against myself besides the fact I'm a straight male. I'll get bigotry for that before I'll get bigotry for my skin color. I think it's just a cop out and her not wanting to be perspicacious and self-reflective enough to understand that she has attacked an age old institution. And there are people who are very patriotic about that institution. And by attacking it and bringing a degree of distaste to it, there's going to be people who don't like her. And if you're a dislikable person, you can't just instantly stand up and say it's because of my skin color. It might because, be because of your actions and some of the things you've said. I mean, I think it's probably no doubt she's had racism on social media because it's... Who a hasn't, it's a, it's a cesspool. You probably have. Well, as I said to now, I've had death threats on social media and no, no, one, no one seemed to care very much. Yeah. Um, but I, I think that's probably inarguable. My issue with what they've both been doing is if you're going to make allegations against an institution like the royal family and the monarchy, you've got to actually provide some evidence. You can't just spray gun this thing out there and say, well, somebody was racist. Yeah, and airing dirty laundry is never going to be respected by the populace. And being a tattletale is never going to be respected by the populace. And I think the problem with the modern world we're living in is a lot of age-old traditions are being destroyed in real time. It doesn't matter what the tradition is. Most of them are being eroded. And something like the British royal family, which has been around for a very long time, is an age-old tradition. One of the things holding the UK together, one of mm. the last things we have, to sit and detriment it and to sit and insult it and to give away secrets from inside of it and try and paint a, a negative image of it is going to upset a lot of people. And you have to be prepared for that backlash. You can't say I've done things that upset people, but it's nothing to do with what I've done. It's purely because of my skin color. Also, it's kind of ironic that she's doing that because she's not particularly dark skinned. It's kind of funny to sit here, sit here, sit here, I mean, look, watch I, her sit and say, yeah, race, I, race, I, race. I think the truth is I don't know what, look, you can say that I can't. Um, the, the reality of it is, I just don't know what the specifics of the racism she says she's had because we've not seen any evidence. The universe is a funny place, Piers. If you're looking for something, you're going to find it, right? When I got cancelled, when they attacked me unfairly, lied about me across the entire mainstream media, deleted me from social media so I couldn't defend myself and lied about me repeatedly, I could have stood up and said, it's because I'm brown. I didn't do that. I sat and said, okay, there's people who misunderstand my message. My message is, is, a, is a positive one. People misunderstand me. Let me self-reflect and understand that, yes, perhaps this said a long time ago was said in the wrong way. Perhaps this was misunderstood. Perhaps people don't understand this. I could have just copped out and could have just been refusing to self-reflect on any level and said, it's because I'm brown, that's why they did it. But that's not the mature way to be as an adult. 